welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm your host, Sophia. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Today, I want to dive into a question I recently posed to my contact at the Central Bank of Iraq. I asked how the rate of the dinar would be determined in the future. The response I received was quite revealing. You know and I know that the rate of the dinar is now being artificially suppressed. Stay tuned as we navigate these developments together. Exciting times are ahead, and we'll be here to keep you informed every step of the way. Welcome to Dinar Guru. The value of a nation's currency reflects its economic health and stability. For Iraq, a country rich in history and resources but marred by decades of conflict and sanctions, the value of the Iraqi dinar has been a topic of intense speculation and debate. Recently, I engaged in a conversation with a contact from the Central Bank of Iraq who shed some light on the future of the IQD. This article explores the insights from that conversation and delves into the factors that could influence the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Historical context of the Iraqi dinar. Pre-1990s era. Before the Gulf War and the subsequent imposition of sanctions by the United Nations, the Iraqi dinar was relatively strong. In the late 1980s, the IQD was valued at around $3.20 USD. Iraq's economy, bolstered by substantial oil revenues, maintained a robust exchange rate that reflected its economic potential and relative stability. Post-1990s decline. The invasion of Kuwait in 1990 and the ensuing Gulf War brought about severe economic sanctions and isolation. The once strong IQD plummeted in value. Hyperinflation ensued, and the country faced economic hardships that crippled its financial system. The IQD, which once stood proud on the international stage, was relegated to an artificially suppressed rate, significantly diminishing its purchasing power. The artificial suppression of the dinar. My contact at the CBI mentioned that, the rate of the dinar is now being artificially suppressed. This statement hints at a deliberate effort to keep the IQD undervalued. Various factors contribute to this suppression, including political instability, ongoing security concerns, and economic policies designed to control inflation and stabilize the economy. Reasons for suppression. Inflation control. By keeping the IQD undervalued, the CBI can help manage inflation. A stronger currency could lead to an influx of foreign goods, potentially exacerbating inflationary pressures. Economic stability. Iraq's economy, though improving, is still vulnerable to shocks. A sudden revaluation could destabilize the economy, causing more harm than good. Political factors, political instability and corruption have historically plagued Iraq. Maintaining a lower currency value helps prevent capital flight and ensures that wealth remains within the country. Iraq's current economic situation. Economic growth. Iraq's economy has shown signs of recovery and growth. The oil sector, which accounts for the majority of government revenue, has seen significant investment and development. Oil production and exports have increased, providing a steady stream of revenue to the government. Infrastructure development. Post-conflict reconstruction efforts have led to improvements in infrastructure. Roads, bridges, and utilities are being rebuilt, facilitating economic activity and improving living standards. These developments are essential for creating a stable and prosperous economy. Financial reforms. The CBI has undertaken several reforms aimed at stabilizing the financial system and improving transparency. These reforms include modernizing the banking sector, enhancing anti-money laundering measures, and promoting financial inclusion. The case for revaluation. Given Iraq's improved economic situation, the question arises, why not revalue the IQD to reflect its true potential? My contact at the CBI pointed out that Iraq is in a much better position now than before the 1990 embargo. So, why not have an international rate equivalent to the late 1980s? Factors supporting revaluation. Economic potential. With substantial oil reserves and increasing production, Iraq has significant economic potential. A revaluation would reflect the true value of its resources. Improved stability. While challenges remain, Iraq is more stable today than it has been in decades. Political reforms and efforts to combat corruption are steps in the right direction. Investor confidence. A stronger currency would boost investor confidence, attracting foreign investment and stimulating economic growth. Regional comparison. Neighboring countries with similar resources and economic conditions have stronger currencies. Aligning the IQD with regional peers could enhance Iraq's economic standing. The calm before the storm. The phrase calm before the storm aptly describes the current situation in Iraq. According to my CBI contact, the silence and slow news are not indicative of stagnation but rather a strategic phase. 
The government and the CBI are being, mum, about the budget and the exchange rate to avoid premature speculation and potential market disruptions. Strategic silence. Market stability. Announcing a revaluation prematurely could lead to speculative trading, causing volatility in the currency market. By keeping plans under wraps, the CBI aims to ensure a smooth transition. Policy implementation. Economic reforms and policies need time to take effect. The current phase allows the government to implement these measures without external pressure. Confidence building. Gradual improvement in economic indicators and stability helps build confidence among investors and the public. The calm period is essential for laying a solid foundation for future growth. The path forward. For the IQD to achieve its true value, Iraq must address these challenges and build on its recent progress. Here are some key steps that could pave the way for revaluation. Enhancing political stability. Efforts to promote political stability, including inclusive governance and reconciliation, are vital. Building a stable political environment will boost investor confidence and support economic growth. Strengthening security. Continued investment in security and counterterrorism measures is essential. A secure environment is a prerequisite for economic development and attracting foreign investment. Economic diversification. Reducing dependence on oil by diversifying the economy is crucial. Investing in sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism can create jobs and stimulate economic growth. Institutional reforms. Strengthening institutions, improving governance, and combating corruption are critical. Transparent and accountable institutions will enhance investor confidence and support sustainable development. In the end I will request my friends who are watching me let's be positive and patient because patience is the key to success. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.